Elections were held in November 1988, and the Pakistan People's Party emerged victorious. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto's daughter, Benazir Bhutto, became Prime Minister of Pakistan. But less than two years later, in August 1990, her government was accused of corruption and dismissed by the President, Ghulam Isa Khan. Two months later, in October 1990, elections were held which put the Islami Jamhuri Ittihad in power. Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif, the ex-Chief Minister of Punjab, became the new Prime Minister. This government adopted the policy of privatization and economic rejuvenation, but was in turn dismissed for corruption in 1993 by Ghulam Isa Khan. Benazir Bhutto and the PPP were re-elected to power the following October. Benazir Bhutto's government was once again dismissed on corruption charges in November 1996 and elections were held in February 1997. Pakistan Muslim League won with an overwhelming majority and Mia Nawaz Sharif was re-elected as Prime Minister. On May 28, 1998, Pakistan became a nuclear power when it successfully carried out six nuclear tests in the province of Balochistan. This was in direct response to five nuclear explosions by India just two weeks earlier. A number of constitutional amendments were introduced, including a repeal of the infamous Eighth Amendment. Nawaz Sharif made efforts to normalize relations with India, which resulted in the signing of the Lahore Declaration. During his term, Pakistan carried out six nuclear tests in May 1998 in response to similar tests by India. The Kashmir dispute once again became a flashpoint in 1999 when Kashmiri freedom fighters captured strategic ridges near the Indian-held towns of Kargil and Dras. Due to international concerns, Pakistan persuaded the freedom fighters to vacate the captured territory, which they did by August 1999. Financial mismanagement and corruption had brought Pakistan's economy to the brink of disaster. The Nawaz government, in a series of controversial steps, had confronted the judiciary and brought disrepute to the institution.